Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers and welcome to my workout training series here on YouTube, body weight training only, which means you don't gotta give me any money, you don't gotta click any external links, you can just get started right now. And without further ado, let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, depression be calling, left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling, phone and progression, it's all that I wanted, the phone and affection, I summon and double it, Alright, here we go, 30 for 30. Today's workout is back and biceps, and yes, you can build muscle with minimal equipment. Trust the process. Now, if there's not a video uploaded by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day, that means it's a rest day. Stretch, do some cardio, and relax. Now, before we get started, I wanna give you a few different tips that you could be utilizing throughout your workout. So, Let's jump right in. All right, quick tip number one. Warm up before you get started. Don't cut this short. You don't wanna get injured. Number two, during back movements, I want you to consistently retract and depress your scaps. This will engage the proper muscles and make your workout even more effective. Number three, make sure with any movements that require holding onto a bar that your thumb is wrapped around and you're squeezing your pinky as hard as possible. Number four, always try to keep a neutral spine unless told to disregard during the movement. Number five, prepare yourself for the release of the new Create You pre-workouts in the coming months. Number six, TUT always means time under tension. This is anywhere from five to eight seconds in each direction. And last, number seven, tightening in your abs and breathing accordingly may be the game changer for an effective workout. So. Let's get started. First movement of this superset is going to be three point or three hand positioning pull-ups. Make sure you're using your thumb and using your pinky throughout. Squeeze as hard as you can. Now you can use some type of a platform if you would like, if you're more of a beginner, that's just to give you a little bit of assistance. Now, we're gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart. Your chin is going to be tucked. Squeeze in your abs. I see this all the time. The lower back is in this kind of curve. It's horrible for your spine, all right? Now, when you're hanging, I want you to fully, fully pull, squeezing in your abs. You see that difference? Squeeze in your abs all the way up here. Don't try and go into full extension of that neck. Bring it here, come back down. Then you're gonna switch it. Simple right here. These are gonna be right about shoulder width apart. Then you're gonna pull up. And then other way, here supinated in this position. Each rep, I want you to switch sides. So switch grips. So if you did this side for this rep, you're gonna switch it to this side for that rep, okay? You're gonna be supersetting that with pushaways on the floor. This really engages those lats. It's an incredible exercise, especially for beginners. Even if you are advanced, you're gonna really like this. All right, so keep that chin back. Instead of your lower spine rounding like this, we do not want this at all, okay? Squeezing your abs as much as possible so your low spine or your lower back is planted against this ground. Now, these arms, let them fall right by your side. Now, open them up slightly. This is called abduction of the shoulder joint, all right? And all you're gonna do, keeping everything tight, squeezing those abs, is lifting up and holding here and then coming back down. Boom, that's superset number one. Okay, here we go, it's getting tough. We got pronated hen bakers, which means our hands are gonna be in this position right here, using that thumb, using that pinky, and squeezing it as hard as you can, and keeping that chin back, retracting and depress those scaps, okay? Now, you can use a platform for this if it's too hard, but we're gonna be showing you as so, about shoulder width apart. You're gonna be coming all the way up, squeezing in your abs, and coming out and in, out and in, out and in. Okay, then we're gonna be moving into back squeezes. Now, this is more of just a contraction exercise to really start activating all of your muscles in your back. So what you're gonna do is retract and depress your scaps, okay, just as so. Our arms are gonna be slightly abducted here, slightly abducted, and you're just going to squeeze everything in the back, squeezing in your glutes, squeezing in your abs here, squeeze as hard as you can, keeping that chin back, neutral spine, <laughs> all the way through, this one sucks. Here we go, time under tension, chin ups. Now that means it's gonna be a supinated grip, meaning your, your thumb is gonna go under the bar, okay, and wrap around it and squeeze as much as you can. Very, very important, and your pinky, everything's gonna be here, okay? Now you wanna make sure that you're not all the way trying to flare out your elbows. Doesn't make any sense when you're in a chin up. So really tighten in here, keep that chin back. Tighten those abs here, about shoulder width apart, okay? Now you can use a platform as I am, as you can see, all right? And what you're gonna be doing is time under tension. This means eight 
about five to eight seconds, going down and up, all right? So, we're gonna be here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up and then all the way back down, okay? Try not to fall off the platform like I just did and that's your set. All right, we're on the floor for the first exercise and what we're gonna be doing is tightening in our abs right here. As you can see, I was here and now I'm here because I'm squeezing in my abs and squeezing in my glutes, okay? Now your hands, you don't want, want them to be too wide. That'll be a different exercise when we do introduce that. It's gonna be right here, so almost as if you're reaching for the stars as much as possible. Really extend your entire body. Open up your feet. As you can see, I have socks on as well. I also suggest you put maybe a dish rag or something under your knees because it will scrape sometimes if you have something that's a little bit harder or rougher than this wood floor, okay? Now you're gonna tuck in your chin and all you're gonna do is pull as hard as you can, squeezing everything in as much as possible, focusing on those lats the entire time and then letting go and pushing back and relaxing, okay? One more time, we're gonna go all the way through, tuck in everything, squeeze as much as you can, going and dragging and dragging, making sure everything is completely aligned and right back. Then we're gonna be moving straight into these bicep squeezes on the counter. They do work. You don't trust me? Try it yourself. Okay, the angle of your elbow should be a little bit less than 90 degrees as you can see, okay? And our hands are gonna be open. You wanna almost make sure that you're, you're trying to twist your wrists in a way. The elbow, boom, here, and also that Shoulder joint is externally rotating, all right? So you're gonna be here, tucking in your chin, squeezing your abs, fully neutral spine, and pressing up and squeezing, trying to curl all the way through. If you don't feel it in your biceps, you're not doing it right, that is your superset. Let's go, as many reps as possible. Close grip pull-ups. Now this is very, very key, and I don't want you to miss out on this part. When I tell you close grip, you would never do a row in a gym going to your chest here, and you're not gonna be doing that with a pull-up. Okay, you generally want it here, right? For any type of a rowing movement. So, you're not gonna put your hands side by side as so. This is no good, big X on the screen. What we're gonna be doing is just within shoulder width apart, okay? Over pronating with your hand grip, squeezing in that pinky, squeezing in that thumb, don't put it over, it's not gonna be working in your favor, okay? Now tuck your chin, squeeze your abs, retract, and depress your scaps, all right? And you're gonna be coming down, and just pulling all the way up until maybe your knee, your, your, I don't know, your nose is coming to touch the bar right around so, okay? And you can use a platform if you would like. Again, as many reps as possible. All right, here we go. This is the final set of this back workout. Now, if you do these correctly, you will feel a crazy burn in these biceps, and I want you to do as many reps as possible. Do not cut it short. Hand positioning, it's gonna be very, very important for this, all right? Now, if you were a little bit Further under, any type of a counter or anything, that may be your problem in feeling your biceps as much as you want. So you're gonna be sliding them out so that it's like your wrist is laying on the edge of the counter, okay? Now making sure our abs are tight in, neutral spine, chin tucked as so, and what we're gonna do is let go just slightly. These are pulsators. So what that means, you're gonna pulsate, pulsate, okay? So that one inch below the counter and squeeze in. And you're gonna come in and squeeze in. One inch and squeeze in. Now make sure that you're also using your fingertips and everything squeezing into the bottom of the counter and you will feel it. Squeeze in, squeeze in. Now make sure as well that your elbow joint is just slightly less than 90 degree angle. And whew, that's your workout for the day. All right, so there you have it. That is your back workout for the day. Now remember, every morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we post these videos. If there's no video, it means it's a rest day. Don't just go ahead and work out. If you do, that's on you. And also, yes, you can build muscle with bodyweight workouts as long as you're consuming the right amount of foods every single day. Subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below, tell me how you feel, and also like the video. It will help with the algorithm and get these videos out to more people. I'm Brendan, thanks for tuning in, I'll see you next time. Peace.